welcome back to another YouTube video and I'm so excited to bring you this one because this is our first build with the new Sims 4 Horse Ranch pack. I've heard little Simsy say this pack should be called Horsing Around and I can't get it out of my head so let's do a Horsing Around build. <laughs> I'm very excited for this pack purely because of the build and buy objects. I'm, this is going to be controversial, I'm not a very horse person. Okay, that's not the right term. I don't really like horses very much. Not to say I don't like animals. No, okay. I'm going to reverse. I'm going to, I'm going to say it again I love animals and I do like horses but they kind of scare me and I think I always told myself slightly that I, that I don't like them purely because of the fact that I'm a little bit worried that they're gonna bite me or like kick me with their back legs I don't know I think that horses are actually quite dangerous animals but you know maybe with this pack um once I bought it for 40 euro I will be able to explore horses from a totally different angle you know maybe this pack is gonna make me feel like horses are like the cutest little animals ever and it's gonna change my whole outlook on them I don't know maybe that will be the case maybe it's just gonna terrify me a little bit more but to ease myself in I actually did this build the day that the pack came out I just sat down and I was like I I need to explore I need to start myself off but I need to ease myself in because I was scared I was gonna see a horse and I was gonna have a panic attack so anyways I wanted to build a little barn oh my god what the heck how random Obviously everyone's doing barns, but I wanted to go a little bit different because we're doing a tiny barn. Woohoo, Sandra thinking out of the box. This is a tiny build. It is in the style of a, I wanna say modern barn. So like imagine someone bought this house as a little project for themselves. It's barely livable, it's so tiny. It's just a one bedroom, barely one bathroom, um, little barn. It's kind of like imagine like a hipster guy was like, oh, I'd love to live on a barn. But oh my God, let's make it like a Le more conventional it's gonna say less conventional that makes no sense let's make it weird and let's make it tiny so they redid this barn re what's the word revamped this barn and made it really tiny and like blew some walls out just to make it so difficult to live in there but I think it's kind of cute I think it has a charm to it and oh my god I love the objects in it and I think now that we have cottage living is that what it's called the English pack. Once we have that, I think with the Growing Together pack and this barn pack horsing around, I think we have the bones of a really nice few objects in The Sims that we can use together to incorporate barns, cottages, and a little bit of modern twist to it to create these really lovely builds, which I'm definitely gonna do. I think I'm gonna combine the three of those packs and see what I can come up with, whether these things actually would work. But at the moment, recently, with the packs that they have been bringing out, those will be my three favorites for build and buy. Um, Growing Together was a pack that I explored a lot with a let's play that I did over on my channel and the gameplay of it was good but you know I actually preferred the objects over the gameplay so I'm very very excited to try out the gameplay of this pack so we will be continuing our let's play with this pack so that's how we're gonna explore it I'm not gonna do like a horses overview well maybe I will if I get bored but I have, I have a very busy schedule the next couple of weeks so I'm trying to still enjoy it not get myself too scared of the horses and you know just get videos out because it is very exciting when we get a new pack anyways look at me building here inside it's, it's such a rammed little space but I just thought it was funny because everyone's building these like grand barns these like like hector yards barns I don't know what that means like massive barns on like massive plots of land and I was like guys but what if we had a tiny barn I don't know it's a little bit scary and I feel like it would smell a little weird in that house you know because of like all the dark wood and like you know I mean there is a lot of windows and ventilation would be amazing but I don't know for some reason I just feel like they'd be like a very earthy wooden smell maybe someone like lit a vanilla candle as well that kind of like musky strong sweet smell inside there I feel like that's how it would smell but build wise object wise I love the build um objects obviously I think they're amazing the build swatches and things like that I feel like those uh, those are amazing oh my god the paintings that come with this beautiful um obviously like the beds and the couches and stuff they are quite you know specific so I guess if you're trying to not build a barn maybe they wouldn't really work although you could try you could try for a different aesthetic the countertops I don't think I'll ever use other than a barn um you know that kind of way like I love the little rocking chair that's so cute for like I think we got a rocking chair and growing together as well but I don't, don't think it had a cute pillow like that I love the rug from this pack oh my god love a good rug they're really doing well with their rug 
rugs recently. I think they've heard her pleads. The rugs are beautiful. Um, but as I said, there is a couple of items in this pack, like the wardrobes and the mirror, don't think I'll ever use um again, to be honest with you. Which is a shame a little bit, but Nevertheless, we still get a nice range of different objects that I suppose we don't really have in the game. So that is exciting. Um, I do think it is worth the money. Um, so yeah, if you are wondering, would you would you need to buy this pack? If you're only a builder, if you don't really play the game too much and you like to just, you know, dwell into the creative side of building, I would say buy this pack purely because it made me excited to build a barn and I don't even like horses. You know, it, it kind of had like a cute little vibe about it. It's very very lived in feeling so it, it does add a little to the storyline so it doesn't feel like a catalog home which, which which we have a lot of items that do feel like you know catalog never touched so this is kind of like a nice balance between those two things so I think you should buy the pack I haven't even explored any of the gameplay I barely watched any videos actually I think I only watched a few like James Turner videos maybe on the build and buy and I think I watched a little simsy video so I haven't really experienced much with any of the other gameplay because you can obviously ride the horses the horses don't just stand there like you know they actually do things with them and there is a cute range of like little care items for the horses like their little water trough which i actually use here i know there's no horse on the lot but i kind of thought it fit i think it's kind of cute um so working here on the outside of the house i mean i don't really know where i was going this was very late at night and i just wanted to use as many objects from the pack and like force them into this to make sense and uh, so we go a little bit back and forth with a couple actually yeah I used a little bit of the cottage living of the foliage the stuff that goes on the house the green stuff I used a little bit of that even though technically I think this world is meant to be a little bit more like deserty kind of dry land so I don't know whether the foliage makes any sense but anyways and the most exciting part of this video is that we can now paint the ceiling so that is very fun Woohoo! I have a whole video on that down below. I'm gonna link it for you. Anyways, guys, that is the finished build. I really, really hope you enjoyed. This build will be up in the gallery. I don't know whether it is functional. I haven't checked. You can be the judge of that if you want to download it and tell me if it is functional because I don't think it is. But I tried my best to fit everything to make sense. Let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear your feedback. Don't forget to subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!